The North American Corriente Association was established in 1982 to promote and preserve the Corriente. Corrientes are raised primarily for sports cattle while preserving such natural attributes as high fertility, early maturity, trouble-free calving, disease and parasite resistance, and foraging efficiency. This unique breed differs greatly in conformation, behavior, and hardiness from cattle raised only for meat. The Corriente is a small, agile, athletic animal with stamina, heavy horns, and a gentle disposition. These characteristics make the Corriente an ideal animal for team roping and bulldogging and an excellent choice for cutting and team penning. The Corriente has a remarkably gentle disposition. Not to be confused with Mexican fighting bulls or even Texas longhorns, they easily tolerate human contact and some even seek it. Corriente breeders agree that raising the cattle is a pleasure and relatively hassle-free. Having evolved over centuries in remote areas of Mexico, they're natural survivors and have not lost the instinct to thrive. Corrientes can readily adapt to various terrains and extreme climates and develop heavy winter coats if necessary. Registered NACA herds are now found from the cold northern plains of Canada to the hot, rough desert country of Arizona to the lush, humid pastures of Florida. These cows came in very easily today and it's just because they're so easy to handle and, and smart and um, can move easily. We don't feed them very much. In the winter we put these cows in a big canyon where the only way I can take care of them is to take a little mineral down um, into that canyon horseback. But uh, so they don't, it's not like we feed them all the time. They just are smart cows and kind of amenable to doing whatever you want. These cows live into their early 20s and a 21-year-old cow can have produced about 19 good calves and it, it's hard to even understand how productive these cows can be and how little care they take compared to a beef cow, especially in this country. Our cows are down in a big long rough canyon. It's about eight miles of rocky rough terrain and they calve in there by themselves. I ride in there to get birth dates. We do have our uh, first calf heifers out, but we don't really watch them. They calve fine, we just take a little bit better care of them. Uh, we've never ever lost a heifer calving. The calving is very, very easy, both on the cows and the owners. <laughs> Um, the North American Corriente Association registry has really been good for the breed, I think, obviously. Um, it's a very simple process. You really just need the dam, sire, and birth date on your calf to register. We don't keep track of weaning weights or birth weights or anything like that. In order to market these animals, you really want to have the best product you can produce. And if you're keeping good records on your cows and keeping track of what they've produced and what the sires are producing, um, you're much more able to come up with a bunch of good, even roping steers. Uh, for the last about five years, we've sold all of these steers to the same fellow in Colorado that uh, would much rather buy a, an American raised Corrienne than a than a Mexican Corrienne. He likes the, the sturdiness of these cattle and the horns. Um, and I, he's, he comes every year. I don't even think about selling to anybody else because he's, he's been so good to come and do that. And he not only buys mine, a lot of the neighbors get together and bring their cattle, he buys theirs. The North American Corrienthe Association sponsors an annual membership meeting with educational activities, a cattle show, and team roping. In addition to the national convention, there are several sanctioned regional shows and membership gatherings sponsored by NACA members. Unlike most uh, breeds of American cattle, 
uh, we not only judge for confirmation and, and breed characteristic, but we also judge for performance characteristic. Um, part of what we're looking for in these shows is uh, for an animal to show sufficient strength and stamina to be durable. We want them to be calm in the chute, uh, break smoothly out of the chute, run straight and steadily. We want them to be holding their head up level to give that header a good shot, uh, handle nicely on the end of the rope once caught, and bounce out smoothly after the head is caught with tension on the rope. Uh, just like any, any team rope or anywhere in the world, want, uh, we're looking for the, the elite to come to the top. Uh, I always kind of view it as whether or not I would want, a, want that particular uh, bull, heifer, or steer in a high man go run. Some of the other stuff we're looking for in these animals that, uh, that the judge is constantly scrutinizing is that, that animal's disposition. Um, we don't want to see any, any type of a, uh, uh, aggressive trait in these animals while in the arena, while in the stripping chute, coming up the alleyway, or being loaded into the roping chute. Um, very important to us t to, to select for that, uh, that trait. We don't want an animal that'll fight its head, you know, one that runs erratically or blindly down the arena. Um, anything that cuts behind the ropers, drags on the end of the rope, those are all things that would cause that animal to be downgraded during the judging process. I think these cows are so dead gum smart that they remember things we forget. Uh, they can learn to pasture so quick and they'll, if you just watch them throughout the day, they'll cover the whole dang thing. They'll, they'll make a circle around the whole pasture almost every day and, uh, and really use it and get around. They're athletic and uh, they do good, shoot, I think they do good any place you put them. I'd like to say, just say a, a little something about the fertility on these little cows. Uh, it's to me one of the the best traits about them. They are they breed up so good even in bad years. The the most impressive part about it to me was that the the two year old heifers they they have a calf and they'll breed back and they might even have a calf as a three year old a little sooner than they did as a two year old. Uh, but they, we get 98, 99% conception rates on these cows every year. They, they drive good, they, they sort good. If you just have to throw them up in a corner and work them, uh, they don't just wad up. You know, they, we never had any trouble with them. The Corriente can be traced back to the first cattle brought to the New World by the Spanish as early as 1493. These hardy cattle were chosen especially to withstand the ocean crossing and adapt to their new land. They were brought to the West Indies and South Florida as well as to Central and South America. Over the centuries, the descendants of these cattle were bred for different purposes, milk, meat, and draft animals. They also adapted through natural selection to various regions. Eventually, their descendants spread across the New World. In the early 1800s, European and other breeds were introduced, and by the 1900s, many ranchers in the Americas were crossing their herds with modern beef cattle. Pure descendants of the original Spanish cattle almost disappeared, but some managed to survive with little human care or intervention in remote areas of Mexico, Central and South America, and in very limited numbers in some areas of the southern U.S. The desired conformation for Corrientes reflects their use for sports as well as the traditional characteristics they evolved to survive and thrive. Many characteristics typical of the beef breeds are not desirable. Corrientes are small, trim cattle with sufficient bone and strength for easy action and endurance. The cattle are narrow with high withers and a short peaked rump. They have a clean dewlap, deep girth and high flank. Generally, a mature bull weighs less than 1,000 pounds and a mature cow less than 800 pounds. Corrientes fit the vision of the future rancher in that they are highly productive, inexpensive to care for, and resourceful foragers that utilize and benefit the environment as naturally as wildlife. These traits are especially advantageous to producers who want to maximize production from their ranch and still maintain plant diversity and promote sound ecology. Corriente cattle mature quickly. 
Bulls have sired offspring as early as 12 months of age, and some breeders have successfully used yearling bulls on as many as 50 females. Mature bulls are routinely bred to 50 cows and commonly to as many as 70 head of cows over a three-month season. Corianthi bulls are excellent for breeding to first calf heifers of beef breeds for calving ease, to produce vigorous, marketable calves, and to ensure healthy, stress-free dams. The resulting cross-blood calves often bring the same price as ordinary beef cattle or yearlings. Though they may weigh less than the other calves off the same ranch, they more than make up for this shortage in the number of live weaned calves and healthy dams. Corianthes are raised primarily for sports cattle, but following a profitable career in the arena, even older cattle can be fed out efficiently and profitably. University studies compared Corianthi beef to certified Angus beef and found that Corianthi beef had the same or superior taste, tenderness, and aroma with only half the total fat. Please contact the North American Corianthi Association for more information about our cattle, how to get a hold of a regional association in your area, or a breeder in your neighborhood. That's at corientecattle.org or 816 421-1992.